Hey there, this is Nick Slotta with Red Ox Insurance Agency putting together a quick video just to help you with the process of getting your motor carrier authority. I get a lot of questions about the steps that need to be taken in order to get your motor carrier authority and I'll tell you honestly, I mean it's not like baking a cake. You don't have to follow a certain pattern, a certain step, you know, step by step. There are steps that you have to take but you don't have to follow it exactly. These are just suggestions to help you get started. You know, the first step, you're going to want to get yourself incorporated, uh, create an LLC or S Corp, whatever, however you want to be organized. That's what you want to do first. And then you want to get your EIN number. Your EIN number you can get from the IRS's website. And then you want to, you're going to want to apply for your authority. You want to get your DOT number. You know, once you apply for your authority, you're going to get an email from the FMCSA that's going to tell you a list of, that's going to give you a list of things that you need to do in order for your authority to go active. Things like getting your BLC3, filling out the UCR, getting your DOT physical, all that kind of stuff. So that's going to be sent to you by FMCSA in an email, step by step on what you need to do in order for your authority to go active. Okay, so that, they're going to give you that. Uh, some other things that you want to start doing while you know you're waiting you're going to have 21 day period from the time that you apply for your authority until your authority could possibly go active so during that 21 days you're going to want to do everything that they send you in that email in addition to that I want to share a few things that you need to start thinking about number one start shopping for a truck whether you're going to rent a truck buy a truck lease a truck whatever start looking for a truck now start shopping for insurance you know, I've, you know, shared in prior videos that, in my opinion, shopping for insurance maybe should be the first thing that you do even prior to starting your LLC because if you can't afford the insurance, there's no reason to spend money on everything else. Um, so start shopping for your insurance. Make sure you're, you have a truck. Uh, all that stuff you're going to need for your authority to go active. And the last thing out of everything that the FMCSA is going to require you to do, the last thing that you're, you're going to want to do is get your insurance. Actually buy the insurance policy because then the insurance company is going to notify the FMCSA that you have the minimum coverage required, the minimum, the minimum insurance required for your authority to go active. The FMCSA is going to take a couple days to process that and then boom, your authority goes active. But and then once your authority goes active, you can do other things that you should have already researched, like, you know, what load board are you going to go on? Are you going to do factoring? Are you going to get a fuel card? Uh, are you going to get an electronic logging device? Are you required to have an electronic logging device? Which companies offer electronic logging devices? You know, interview dispatchers if you're going to get a dispatcher. And then once your authority goes active, you apply for that load board. You get on. You sign up for that load board, whether it's DAT, truck stop, whatever. Amazon Relay. You apply for Amazon Relay. All that stuff can be done after you get your authority. You're going to want to reach out to RTS to get a fuel card. I mean, shoot, they offer free fuel cards. Um, they offer a paid fuel card as well that would give you discounts at all gas stations, almost pretty much almost all gas stations across the country. But they have a free version that there's still like a list of 10 fuel stations that you can get discounts for, just for having that free fuel card. Um, interview dispatchers. How do you find dispatchers? Well, my suggestion would be to go to these different Facebook groups, whether you're doing box truck or you're doing a tractor and trailer or whatever. If you go to Facebook and just put in trucking groups, sign up for some of these, you know, join some of these trucking groups on Facebook, and there's all kinds of folks on there. There's truckers, there's insurance agents, there's dispatchers, there's, bro I mean, there's everything. Uh, put a question out there. Hey, does anybody have any dispatchers that they can recommend for me? And then, you know, pick three or four of them, two or three of them, and interview them, you know, and then see who's the best fit for you. And then after that, man, just get loads, start getting loads, start making money, um, and then think about what your future is. Like, how do you want to grow? Do you want to always drive? Do you want to add trucks? Do you want to 
take a seat back and hire a driver to replace you, and then you just sit back and manage the business. You know, there's other there's so many avenues you, you can go and grow as much as you want. You can also just say, hey, I enjoy being over the road or on the road, driving the truck, keeping it simple. You know, it's what you want to do. But there's also companies out there. You know, some people, just, you're more than capable of applying for your authority and getting it on your own. But some people just don't want to deal with it. They don't want to, they're afraid they might mess up or whatever. So there's plenty of companies out there that will do all the paperwork for you. You know, you pay them a little fee, they'll complete everything for you. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. Some people just like that because it just, they can take a back seat and just say, okay, tell me what to do and I'll do it. And you know that it's going to be done right. So if that's you, just shoot me an email, nick at redoxinsurance.com. That's nick at redoxinsurance.com. And I'll be happy to email you a couple link, uh, links to a couple companies that will will do that for you. Um, and just, you know, don't worry about it. Um, listen, you know, I talked about load boards. I talked about factoring and fuel cars and EODs and stuff like that. Listen, if I can be a resource for you, just please let me know. Check out the details below. There's links for all those things for discounts for them. Uh, try them out. Uh, feel free to use those as needed. If you have any questions, concerns, nick at redoxinsurance.com. Give me a shout. If you have a question that you want me to do a video on, let me know that as well, and I'll do the research, put a video together for you. And if I'm sure if you have that question, there's a lot of others out there that have the questions as well. So keep them coming. Uh, thanks for the support. Give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and th take care. Thank you.